Hi, welcome to another video of Gouache with Anne. In this video, I'm going to paint a still life. Now I've set something up and I've taken a photo of it. And uh, through this, uh, this painting, I'll go over all the different aspects that you need to consider when you are painting a still life. Before you start painting, you wanna make sure that your uh, drawing is accurate and uh, you don't want to make any changes at this point because the drawing you put down on the paper is quite detailed. So if you, which I did when I was doing my first version of this painting, I found that after I had been painting for a little while that the um, platter was a little bit on the wonky side. It was a little longer on one side than the other. So I had to start again. So my recommendation is you definitely get your drawing perfect uh, and you know look at it against the photo and then you can really tell if you need to adjust Now we'll start working on the lighter areas. Uh, some of these areas I will add uh, different colors into, into them, but uh, I will make sure that I keep them in the same value, which is the lightness and darkness. I want the colors for the tomatoes and the orange to be really bright. So I'll try to use my brightest reds that I have and uh, the nicest orange as well. And then I'll start putting in the shadows. So at this point, I kind of step back from the painting and take a good look at it and the reference photo. And I realize that uh, the underneath of this platter needs to be a bit darker. I think that's one of the things that's quite important is while you're painting uh, that you 
uh, take a break. And I, what I do is I'll take a photo and then I will crop it on my phone and uh, while I'm having lunch, I'll look at it and kind of analyze it. And it because I can see it in a different format, it helps for me. Some cases, there's areas that right away I see, oh, that definitely needs to be fixed. Now I'm gonna start putting in the pattern. Now I haven't drawn the pattern ahead of time, so I'm going to work very slowly, and it doesn't have to be uh, perfectly accurate, but I have to get the perspective correct so that uh, it, it will read properly in the end. I'm pretty well finished the painting and uh, the last thing I like to do uh, is to put on some highlights. So you'll see I put them on the fruit and vegetables, on the rims of the cup and uh, on the cups themselves and also on the platter. Another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, I feel like the background is a little bit flat so I'm going to add some different uh, shades and colors keeping more or less in the same value range. Here's the final painting. Uh, I really like the way that the pattern turned out on the platter. Uh, I think if you're gonna do a still life, it's nice to find a, a piece to include in your still life that does have a pattern and it's really fun to work on as well. So we'll see you in the next video.